For years, the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs has been touted as the most haunted hotel in America, home to some of the most prominent ghostly activity. Yeah, 5 News photojournalist Sam Reed took an exclusive haunted tour of the Crescent and discovered the dead may be more alive than we think. America's most haunted hotel, the Crescent. Located in the cozy town of Eureka Springs, Arkansas, the Crescent Hotel is known not only for its historic Victorian beauty, but for its active array of spirits who reportedly roam the halls and grounds of this hotel and spa built in 1886. There's a lot of history here. After operating as a luxury hotel for decades, in 1908 it became the Crescent College and Conservatory for Young Women, but the college closed 16 years later. And in 1937, a man named Norman Baker bought the Crescent and turned it into the Baker Cancer Hospital. A charlatan doctor claimed to have the cure for cancer. Using various unorthodox methods of treatment, what was unknown to many of these patients was that Baker's miracle was a scam, and he had no medical training. An investigation later revealed that over the years, Baker had defrauded those cancer patients out of millions of dollars with his phony cures. Sarah E. Kelly is a ghost tour guide at the hotel and is confident in the hotel's spooky reputation. When asked if the hotel is still just as haunted today compared to decades before, Sarah had this to say. More so than ever, I think. I think sometimes, you know, when we connect with spirits, we encourage them to stay. Um, sometimes that means they can't cross over maybe the way that they should, but I, I think because the guests really enjoy them and uh, they seem to enjoy it a little bit too, some of them. There are many ghost encounters reported at the hotel and Michael is one of the most well-known spirits. Michael was allegedly one of the original Masons who worked on building the hotel in 1885. And while working on the roof, it said he lost his balance and fell to the ground where he was killed. He now makes his presence known from time to time in room 218. Most of them are mischievous at best. You know, they just want to be noticed, I think. So they, they make loud noises or they do things like shut doors, but they're only doing what their energy makes them capable of doing. And so they just have to use the resources that they have. And the spookiest part of the tour? I can confidently say the morgue, which is not for the faint of heart. I'm like lightheaded already. Yeah, so. oh! And you, yeah, if you need to get out, don't worry about it. But yeah, they think that they use this for uh, keeping the bodies until they were ready to go to the mortuary. I just gotta chill. It's never know. Oh, wow. Upon entry to the morgue's ice box, I was physically afflicted with lightheadedness, chills, and an uneasy stomach. I captured a glowing white orb, as Sarah talked about previous experiences. The ghosts of this hotel are sure to make themselves known, but what may be most disturbing is the secrets buried beneath the grounds of the hotel. In 2019, 5 News reported on a shocking discovery. We were actually building the Frisco Sporting Club out back there. Um, they were using a backhoe, they were digging up some dirt. When they're using the backhoe, they just um, pulled up these first two bottles. More bottles were found, containing mysterious concoctions of medical specimens believed to date back to the Norman years when the hotel was used as a cancer hospital. They were called out University of Arkansas, they you know, kind of helped us uh, do an archaeological dig, and they took some of the bottles back with them. There had been rumors of these bottles being used on display by Baker in the hospital to promote his alleged cures. Some of the specimens are still in our morgue for people to see on tours, and so it's really exciting to kind of guess um, what's in there as well. Now with a little bit more information that we have, I think he was trying to um, dot his I's and cross his T's. But as far as treatment goes, I think because it was under suspect, uh, that he was just making sure everybody knew that like whatever was happening here was on display. Maybe it was just a creepy way of showing his success or whatever, but um, before, it, before any of that got to the public, it, he was arrested. So we don't ex actually know exactly what he was trying to do with those bottles. It's only speculation. Paranormal researcher named Larry Flaxman with the help of surgical pathologist Dr. Charles Matthew, quick with UAMS, recently identified the samples found in the bottles unearthed in 2019 and have now revealed that they contained human tissue from some of Baker's patients. The mysteries trapped within this hotel remain a compelling part of the overall experience. In Eureka Springs, covering news where you live, Sam Reed, 5 News.